Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Joshua Macros and welcome to today's 60 second financial education video on, you guessed it, term life insurance, probably could have guessed that by the name of the video. And I got to say this every single time is this video is not financial or investment advice. Always do your own research, invest at your own risk. And now let's get into it. So I'm going to break this video down into two parts really quick. The 60 second part is what is term life insurance. And then I'm going to take it a little bit longer for you and explain the pros of term life insurance, the cons of term life insurance, so that you can make an educated decision about what you do with your money so really quick don't just listen to a guy on youtube like i said before always invest at your own risk always use your money as if it is your money because you guessed it it is so term life insurance is a type of life insurance that provides coverage for a specific period of time such as 10 20 or 30 years if the policyholder dies during that term of the policy the beneficiary the person designated to receive the death benefit will then receive a payout. If the policyholder does not die during the term of the policy, the policy will expire and there is no payout. You're kind of expecting to not die, right? I don't think anyone's expecting to die, but just in case you do, the beneficiary would get a payout. So there's pros and there's cons to this type of insurance. So we've got the pros of term life insurance. Number one is it's affordable. Term life insurance is generally less expensive than permanent life insurance, such as whole or universal life, because there's no savings component. So you're not building up like a savings account in your insurance policy that you can then borrow against for tax purposes or whatever into the future. So it's not like that sort of pol policy. Sometimes it's five, ten dollars per month for a sometimes up to a million dollar policy, which is a pretty good bargain. Number two is flexibility. Term life insurance policies can be customized to meet the specific needs of the policyholder, such as by selecting the length of term and the amount of coverage in a type of policy. So it's very flexible and can be structured in a lot of different ways for each person. Number three, it's easy to understand. Term life insurance is straightforward type of insurance that is dirt easy to understand. You buy this amount of life insurance, costs this amount over time, and you get this benefit if you died by these sorts of ways, right? You can't go do some bad things and get it's a fraud. Okay, let's just say fraud in life insurance, right? You can't do that. So the cons now, so number one is limited coverage. Term life insurance only provides coverage for a specific period of time, so it may not be sufficient for a long-term needs of a policyholder or beneficiary. So if you're going to live for the next hundred years, which hope most people do, it might not be the right type of policy because usually they're shorter terms, 10, 15, 20, 30 years. Number two is the cash value. There's no cash value. Term life insurance does not have a cash value component, so it does not build up any savings or equity over time. If you want that type of insurance policy, you got to go find a different type, usually whole life insurance. Number three in the other con is it expires. So the policy will expire at the end of the term and the policyholder will need to purchase a new policy or switch to a different type of insurance if they want to continue coverage. And you guessed it, all the premium you paid is just kapoof, right? It's like you spend a thousand dollars on auto insurance every year and you spend your whole life never getting into an accident. It's money that you might think is wasted or it's money you might think is Hey, it's schmuck insurance in case something very bad does happen. But term life insurance can be a good option for people who need temporary coverage or who want to protect their loved ones while they are in their working years. It is important to carefully consider your needs and pros and cons of the different types of insurance before making a decision. And it'd be helpful to consult with a financial professional to determine the best type of insurance for your particular needs, your family, your situation. So go talk to that financial professional. Guys and gals, let's go make some money. I'll see you out there.